Hello my pretties and welcome to the Kimbri campaign where we have to form a Germano Danish Empire which was the option you guys voted for the most. I was surprised. Uh, it was really tied between uh, sacking and conquering Britannia and, and conquering the... Um, liberating the Kingdom of Jerusalem which... the Holy Lands I mean which was really surprising it's just or steamrolled all the way to all of those and just gain it just won by the narrowest of margins two votes or three I don't remember but it's something along those lines so as I stated we are playing with the Kimbri faction uh, they are on they are in Denmark I mean I cannot really go to these islands or go to Sweden or Norway but I mean it's all good so we have some text here which wow it's actually quite a lot I actually Never stop to read that. So, we have Teutonic Federation, which gives us plus 30 to diplomatic bonus with German factions, minus 40 to penalty with Latin, Atlantic, and Eastern factions, which will be pretty. Eh, will not bother us too much because we will not be attacking anything that's both Latin, Atlantic, or Eastern. And the thing that I love the most about this the Cambry Longbows, plus 25% to accuracy from our missile units. That is amazing. So I never actually chose what the difficulty is, so I'm gonna stick to normal because I mean I don't want this to be just too damnable long. So yeah, normal it is. There's no video in on the intro, there's nothing no description, no anything in the beginning. So I'm just gonna load it and then we'll get to the beginning of the campaign. So see you in two seconds. So welcome to the campaign map, and as you can see it's quite bare. Um, it's actually weird. The mod that I'm using to remove the trees whenever it in the northern or northern part of Europe actually it I don't think there's any other place that this happens. Whenever it's um, autumn or winter the th trees come back for some reason and it's pretty weird. So yeah for the moment it, it actually looks it has a decent charm to it. I actually enjoy how it looks like the last amount of trees and those big planes look they it looks awesome so yeah so as you can see i have a decent amount of money for one reason it's so boring but absolutely so boring the beginning of this campaign without any money to improve this that it's just not worth it so i already got this set up we are going to do we want the longbow hunters and we can get what at the moment? We can get the club levy and spear levy. It's not the best, but honestly, maybe enough. We can get some spear brothers. Are they the as good? No, probably not. So what we want is we want to improve this, this, and yeah, we're going for the longbows. We want the longbows. It's actually another thing. Actually, another thing, another thing. I want to check. Um, these provide me with longbow hunters. No, they don't. It's the second one, I believe. It's the... No, it's not the brine thing. It's the woodworker. Yes, yeah, the woodworker. So, yeah. It's all fine and good and well. So, we're... We're going for economy. We want to have... We want to continue having this decent amount of money. So, we want to continue doing this so yeah let's go for that one at the moment just so we can get some farms we can probably increase attacks right a little bit okay perfect and we want to send you south because you're no use to us while up there now as you can see there's only him as the f only guy available to us so got himself one promotion we have 89 82 percent of this so and we only got that one guy i'm gonna keep the germanic youths and we're gonna recruit quite a good amount of club ladies and spear ladies because they're not the best but i mean there's nothing much to it oh and before i forget two other things one this is the final version of my modded Rome 2 campaigns. I'm not gonna put any more mods into it because honestly it's already too already modded to hell. There's 
nothing more than I can add that improves this game, at least for me. And second one, the Empire is probably probably to go to this one. Uh, click that one. Uh, it's going. We need to conquer that. That. Uh, that. We need to conquer Hercina, and we need to it's not Silesia, but we could take it as well. And Swabia. So Swabia is our first province that we need to take, and the Rugiai are the the faction that controls it. So that's why I'm already sending my boys south, so they can attack him. Oh, speaking of which, the lower tier units are actually both men and male, uh, man and female, because. That's actually a thing that they have on Otilla, but not in this game for some reason, like uh, germ uh, barbaric units, mm, some of them have both men and women uh, fighting at the same time, and that is so incredible. Now, as you can see, the reason why I chosen to do the victory conditions where you guys chose is because of this. I need to take Africa, Macedonia, Italia, Suave, Mesopotamia, and Egypt. Those are the stupidest, stupidest objectives ever. And I already went to this, I already know that no one wants to trade with me. So I'm not going to trade with anyone. So screw you guys. I'm going to build my own strip cup with blackjack and hookers. And I already screwed it up. I don't, doesn't matter. So yeah, yeah, let's end the turn. First one, yay. Okay, before I forget, I just thought up of ideas of what I should do and yeah I thought and it was I think it is a good idea to only m or to manually fight all the battles and every settlement I conquer I have to loot it and I have to enslave everyone I conquer because well that's the Viking way we need to get stuff to trade with people and to get some loot and everything and oh the wolf warriors I do need some of them Okay, you're quite unhappy at the moment. You're gonna be fine in two turns. It's not really declining at a huge, huge thing. And actually, since you're declining, you can just jack it up. Yeah, minus nine. It's not too bad. Nothing too bad. So, yeah. So, yeah, this is the only guy that is the leader. And we own 82% of the... Thing. I don't know don't know any of this so yeah it seems everything is in order so another turn that shall end yeah seems good all right we got iron tools now that's that's lovely actually what does that give no I already I got Celtic f fuel systems why Celtic they are Germanian but all right uh, not really want to complain too much I do need this emergency measures. All right, so we're going for that then. I want myself some longbow hunters because I love them. They're probably one of my favorite units of all time. So we can go for more spearmen. We can disband you because I don't really need you. Yeah, these units are quite cheap. Even the cavalry is really cheap. So we don't really need that much money so wait jesus uh yeah it's already fine it's fine let's end another turn because we're just waiting to attack rugion sooner or later and i oh it's blisters all right yeah we need to attack it we need to take it and yeah that's our only objective for the moment all right and welcome to winter and as i told you look at the amount of forest and compare that to spring or summer there was nothing around these lines and now there is weird ain't it so we want more f food because what the hell not oh, wow it's yeah it's decreasing so can we get anyone from our family no so I don't want any of you thank you but no thank you so we got four of the club levy, six spear levy, one Germanic scout rider, 12, 13, 15. Wait, what am I, th what am I seeing? It's already 14 here, okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, let's get nine of spearmen. 
and then five longbows and then four of them and one cavalry and one general yeah seems like a, a good army composition for me at least i like it so we're going for it yay that's that's the only thing that we're doing at the moment there's nothing happening even you you're not gaining much oh jesus oh that's not too good but oh well every time the intern music appears it's just like oh something incredible happened it's like eh doesn't matter oh yeah i can recruit spies and i completely forgot this in this game spies don't really cost that much i also want one of you who gives me the best the best the best the best uh -huh, uh -huh. this one seems like amazing yeah this one's the best okay and then a spy um, any... I mean, I'm just gonna um, keep you here. Yeah, this seems like a best one. Alright. And I'm gonna keep you in Alabu because I don't really need you anywhere else. I don't need spies to attack because spies in this game are not as useful as one would think. So in two turns, we are we will have our slingers and that's gonna be incredible so we are already got the army composition we want so what we can do is just annoy the rookie eye oh uh, there we go <laughs> money get me all the money I like money it's amazing ain't it I forgot um yeah I have different swords for both Celtic and Germanians they look awesome look at that it's it's such a, a teeny tiny yeah. difference but looks decent I like it I so like it okay nothing really much is happening um, I'm just gonna send her to train my guys and to have better replenishment you I'm gonna keep you there because reasons and that's it that's the entire turn done Actually, we can move you a bit and we can keep raiding. Wow, I didn't know that. Cool. We can keep raiding even while moving. Amazing. Okay, we can finally have our longbows, which I so terribly want too much. Now, we probably want to go for these two because... Yeah, why not? It's, it gives us better units. And that's what we want, right? Yeah, that's what we want. We're going to keep you there for... How many turns does it take? Three turns. So we're going to keep you around for the duration of three turns. So, yeah. Oh, goody. There's nothing much happening. I'm so sorry, guys. But yeah, we're going to have to end another turn without doing much. Because there's nothing much to do. Which is sad. Oh, okay. The scout has increased in rank. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. All of a sudden, just increase in rank. Okay, thank you. So, we probably have depleted the coffers of these guys already. So, we're going to be sending you to towards these lands of the Shrews. How do you say that? Shrewsi and the Frisii. Weird names. Really weird names. Yeah, we could probably, if we have no nothing 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 there's nothing it's annoying I don't have any sons yet or at least he doesn't have any sons and I don't as well so yeah he's getting a bit old I don't like that let's end one more turn and let's hope something happens all right we got headhunt and the shield maiden has increased in rank I would really like it if shield maidens would be able to well be in the campaign map but oh well like appear on battles or something uh, I mean it's not too terribly bad but could have been better could have been much better okay in here I can still raid okay no trespassing all right yeah I'm looting the Sharusi land and I'm not trespassing. That's weird. Okay, how many turns until the end? One turn. So, 
Yeah, that's good. Let's send one more turn. We'll start recruiting on the longbows. And then next episode, we'll go and attack the Rugii. That should be awesome. Um, okay. Research stuff that I don't really need. So let us put our men right there. And let's start recruiting our beloved longbows. So, two turns to recruit them. And I'm thinking... Uh, can I get rid of something to have some ballistas in it? Do I need ballistas? I mean, they might be helpful with a flaming shot, but I don't really think having it would be the best. So, yeah, I'm not going to recruit them. Yeah, I'm gonna keep them like that. Yeah, listen, just one more turn. Or two more turns, and I don't know. Now I'm a, I'm gonna end the video here because I'm gonna end two two turns and then attack Rugion next episode. So yeah, I'm going to leave this video here. If you liked it, stamp that like button till it bleeds. And to my pretties, I say to you, goodbye.